Leticia Beck is on par to be one of the best golfers in the world. The average mm. driver club hit speed on the LPJ is like 95 miles per hour, and I drive it around 101 to 103. With drives as far as 265 yards, the 26-year-old Phenom is the first Israeli to play on a major professional golf tour. For the past four years with the LPGA, she's already finished tournaments in the top 10. For me, it's very special going to tournaments, and um, they put the flags of the countries participating. When I see the Israeli flag, it's like kind of always amazes me because I'm like, wow, the flag is there because of me. Put Israel in Hebrew, and then obviously Israel in English. And I want people to know where I come from. So that's my, like, almost, you know, people saying, okay, I'm Jewish Israeli. Leticia is not shy about her Israeli pride. Born in Belgium, her Zionist family made Aliyah when she was in first grade. She grew up in Kazaria, home to Israel's only 18-hole golf course. Were you surprised to see the natural talent that Leticia had with golf? Uh, I wasn't surprised because she's uh, quite sports uh, talented. So how old was she when she started beating you? Oh, <laughs> the day she was born. It's hard here. When people in the States hear that we only have 118 and 19, they're like shocked. At the age of 12, Leticia won her first Kazaria Golf Club Championship. She was so good, she started competing against the men and even won the men's club championship. By 14, Leticia and her family realized she had to leave Israel. So she moved to Florida's famous Ledbetter Golf Academy. It was hard, not easy for her, for us too, but I think we made a good choice. She went on to play golf at Duke University where they won the national championship and three ACC championships. By rankings and the name, we really knew it was like a special place and like a, a, an amazing um, I, school for academics as well and my parents really you know it's important for us to also go to good school part three uh, flag is the back so it's like 160 yards so it's a pretty tough hole for players because there's so much water on the right after graduating she qualified for the British Open and then made it to the LPGA the same year very rare right out of college does it get lonely being so far away? I don't think lonely because I do try to stay with, I do stay with Jewish families. Um, every week when I go to tournaments, I, I, stay, I stay with the family. So yeah. Is there any time for boys or dating? No, again, it's something that I'm not at the moment interested. I'm, I'm surrounded by a lot of Jewish people. So a lot of like people are like, oh, I have, you know, my son and like, but no, I'm like, you know, I'm good with what I have now. But the two times a year she comes home to Kazaria and her childhood golf course, the love and affection she gets makes it hard to leave. She's a wonderful ambassador for our country. But she's a decent human being and she's a lovely girl and she's friendly and she's a great, great golfer. And I'm pleased God she's going to get right to the top. Right, I got the grip right? Yeah, no, it looks good. Not bad. Okay. You Not know, bad for the first person. one in five years. Believe it or not, I do play golf. It's been many years, but why okay. not get a quick pointer from the pro herself? <laughs> okay, that was bad. You, you, just, you just hit it fat. <laughs> Up, uh, nice. Okay, I guess I better stick to my day job and leave the golf to Leticia. Emily Francis, I-24 News.